Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is custom sort string. So in this question, we are given two strings, order and s. All the characters of order are unique and were sorted in some custom order previously. So order will give us the order in which we have to sort the input string s. And this is the condition of the sorting. And our task is to permutate the characters of s so that they match the order that the string order was sorted in. And more specifically, it means that if a character x occurs before a character y in order, then x should occur before y in the permitted string. And we can return any permutation of s that satisfies the above property. Now let's take a look at example 1 and see how we can solve this question. So the input string given to us is a, b, c, d and the order is c, b, a. First c should occur if c is present. Yes, c is present. So let us build our result. So c is present. So first c should occur. So this is done. Now we have to check for B. Yes, B is present. So add B here. Check if A is present. Yes, A is present. So add A now. Now we finish the order and whatever is left will be appended in there. So this is a one kind of permutation which satisfies this condition mentioned to us. And C, B, A, D is the expected output. So let us implement the same ideology in code. We are maintaining the number of occurrences in this string S. And based on those occurrences, we are checking if that character is present inside order. If it is present, we are first printing those characters inside our result. So let us form our logic. Since we have to deal with the number of characters present in S, I'll create a map which will store key and value pairs. So the number of characters present inside S. So we iterate through S, which is the input given to us and find the number of characters. A is occurring, so add it and set its frequency to 1. B is appearing, so add it and set its frequency to 1. C is appearing, set its frequency to 1. D is appearing, set its frequency to 1. Now we have the characters of map. Now inside this map, we have the characters of S. Now we iterate through the order. Now first we start with this character, CH is equal to C. We check if the C is present inside the map. Yes, it is present. So all the occurrences of C present inside S should be printed in our result. So I first I create a string builder. C is appearing one time. So print it inside the result. And now remove the C because we added it once and that many times it was occurring. Now go to the next character in order. CH is now B. Check if B is present inside the map. Yes. So get its count. Its count is 1. So print B one time and remove it from the map. Now CH is equal to A. Check if A is present inside the map. Yes, it is present. So get its count. It is present one time. So print A one time and now remove it from the map. And we finish processing all elements inside order. Now we have to check for rest of the elements present inside the map. D is present one, so print it one time. So D will be printed and we finish processing all the elements inside uh, the map and so we can end the iteration. No need to remove the leftover elements from the map. We just print it how many ever times it's occurring. And here as you can see, we are getting the expected output CBID which is matching here. And finally, the return type is a string, but we filled a string builder. So convert this string builder into a string. After converting, whatever is present inside this string, CBAD will be returned as the output. Now let's take a look at the code and do a dry run for the second example. Now here as you can see, first we have started with creating a map. So I create a map and now we iterate through the string S. Let's take the second example. String S is equal to ABCD. Now we iterate through the string S from starting to end and fill all the characters. A is appearing once, B is appearing once, C is appearing once and D is appearing once. And now this we are filling the map. Now I create a result string builder. So I create string builder, which is empty. And now we are iterating through the order. So converting this order into a character array. So order is equal to BCAFG. So convert order into a character array so that we can access one character at a time. BCAFG. Now we access one character at a time. We pick the first character. Now we check if that character is not present inside the map. It is present here. So this will be skipped. We get the count of that character. That count of the character. So count is 1. So we are running the loop count number of times 0 to count. So we have to run this loop one time. In that loop, first we are appending that character CH. So this is CH, right? So append that character into the result and remove it from the map. So B will be removed. And this for loop will end. We go to the next character. The next character is C. So CH is now at C. We check if it is present inside the map. Yes, CH is present. So C is present. So skip this and get its count. Its count is 1. So count is now 1. We use a for loop to iterate one number of times. In that, we append that character CH. So CH into the result. So C will be added. And we remove that uh, CH from the map. So C will be removed. And now the for loop will end. We go to the next loop. The next iteration, we are at A. We check if A is present inside the map. 
yes it is present so this will be skipped get its count its count is one so we iterate one number of time in that time we add that character into the result v a and remove it from the map the next character is f we check if f is present inside the map no it's not present so this will be executed and we skip the current loop so we go to the next loop so ch is now at g check if g is present inside the map no it's not present so this will be executed and we skip the current loop and now we reach end of the order array so this is finished and now we have to iterate through whatever is left inside the map yes d is present so get its count its count is 1 so add 1d into the string builder and this for loop will end and we reach the end of the map and no more characters are present so here the character set was just d and we processed that and we added that and we came to end of the key set so we are done with this loop too and we come out and we convert this string builder into a string so bcad will be returned as a string because the return type is a string and this bcad is the expected output which is matching here the time complexity of this approach is o of n because we are iterating through the character array and the space complexity is also o of n because we are using a map to compute the output that's it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video